I have like, I'm a double winner kind of guy, you know, which is, you know, I'm equally codependent as I am, you know, addicting, addicting, ad addict. addictive. Yeah. And you know, it, 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 I, I don't like, I have to stop that shit. Codependency you know, or yeah. well, that's the hard part about codependency is is I too am codependent and done a lot of work with it. Yeah. And it's I I don't know the difference between a boundary and a wall. It's yeah. Like, well, I mean, it, I think that's sort of me because like you you have you, without knowing it, you have so much invested in people that you might not even know that well. And they all of a sudden have this amazing control over you, whether you know it or not, whether they yeah. know it or not. Yeah. And you know, it's like it's weird and and it, and it can hurt a lot you know, when, when, you know, you don't have a proper boundary. So working on that stuff is, is like, I try to do that, but I also have a very active monster. Like you were saying that like, there's this other part of me that's like, you know, a full grown, you know, monster, you know, like I, the petty guy or the, yeah, the, the petty the, guy, the, guy? the sort of like, uh, you know, yeah. petty guy, pervy guy, hungry guy, you know what I mean? So there's sort of like, I have to reckon with who I really am you know, in this body that's still occupied by, you know, you know, sad pussy guy, doormat guy and fucking monster man. You know, so like, I just have to, you know, get, get, get everybody. Who's yeah. the doormat guy? Well, I mean, the doormat guy Getting is the guy that, by... you know, proposed to a mentally ill person, you know, after, you, you know, I, I had to sort of, you know, when we, when I broke up with her, I ended up in, you know, male, all male Al-Anon meetings for, you know, months, just trying not to engage. Al-Anon is a codependency group around codependency. And I, and I could, codependency I never, meaning like Pete, you're addicted to people. Yeah. And a lot of times they are addicts or right. mentally ill. Right. You know, I have that because like both that, of my what, parents. Did you get married to the, her? No, you remember her. It was that one that, you know, everybody knew that she was a little weird. Oh, I didn't know you got engaged. Well, yeah, I broke up with her. Then we, you know, for three months, I was just Al-Anoning and like not calling. And then she found a fucking crack. And and before I know it, like I bought her a fucking ring and I'm like, let's do it. And she wanted, and I, I couldn't even understand who that guy was, but it's there because, and it's also the core to the success of my podcast is my immediate ability to mesh with people and, and, and feel their feels. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. also the core of what you're saying about my intuition. It's because I was wired by emotionally, bro you know, needy, manipulative people that did not know how to be selfless, did not know how to uh, allow space emotionally for children, did not know how to raise children or be them, you know, or act appropriately. Right. Themselves. So they end up raising a uh, very a half, sensitive, right, a guy who doesn't have a sense like of self meter. It's of uh, many different. It can measure many different things. Like you come from that. Totally. It, but and you I know, can measure anger. I can measure power. Like immediately. I, can, I know you have it because like sometimes you see me and you're like, not even going <laughs> to. <laughs> like you you just register a vibe as yeah. I walk in the hallway. You're like, all right. I, I'm like that too, dude. There's sometimes like I can see from, you know, from 50 feet. I can feel, I'm like, mm, yeah, I, I got to, got to, got to ditch. I got to get out of this hallway. It's helpful when you do comedy too, because like you can hear a, a room before you go on and you're like back corner stage right that whatever's that thing back there yep that, that, i'm gonna that, fix it i'm gonna yeah. fix it i'm gonna fix it and also it might be problem yeah be like trouble. hey and you go talk to the doorman <laughs> are they are you keeping your eye on them <laughs> exactly <laughs> but not everyone and by the way yeah. we're right a lot of the I time know. yeah totally. that's the that's the crazy part is but, like uh, we can you're sensitive to it and yeah it's and just, then what do you so i'm in a position where I mean, recently things have happened where like I said to a woman, I was like, I think you're more into this than you're letting on. And she denied it, denied it, denied it. Like, what are you talking about? Da, da, da. And then two weeks later, she was like, I think you were right. Uh, like, which is gratifying. But a sad story. Right. But like, so again, I have to worry about my codependency. You have to worry about your codependency. So it makes every relationship like. But I also have to worry about the other side of it, too. Of course. You know, which is, you know, kind of like not, you know, being sensitive to people's feelings, objectifying people. You know, like there's that. Yeah, we have a, a very guy. sensitive meter that is either on or off. But also, like, I just had this realization in talking to you in that, like, just now where, like, that sensitivity feels like empathy. But I'm not sure that it is until you sort of um, kind of, you know, tweak it a little bit.
Like you, you, I definitely enmesh with people and I can feel them, but I'm not sure it's the same as empathy. You know, I'm well, not, that's, you know, I'm trying to think of an example. The thing that made me think of it, there was a time you said something about my father <laughs> and it was like, it was like, uh, yeah. and it was like, Marin, it was shitty. Why take that knowledge? You're in the same boat yeah. and you're using it as a fucking knife yeah you're just so sensitive yeah like it's like but you're right in that like you sense it you fucking in like immediately intuit it uh, yeah, i can, yeah. do, well, I can what, do it uh, we can do it all the time with almost everybody <laughs> but it's just a matter of do i use it as like you're not supposed to I use it have a that also yeah 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 it's, and it's not, the, I, the guy one time said to me in in uh in program early on like i was like nine minutes sober <laughs> and i was so excited that i you know told them my wife that i you know i was having an affair you know because i want the woman who got me sober you know i i had an affair with her and, and i ended up being with her for years but but i remember i i was so proud of myself for being honest and uh some old guy famous playwright like he comes up to me and he's like uh you know th that's not being honest you, that, being using honesty as a weapon is not what that yeah. means that is not what honesty means yeah and you're like what yeah i'm like what yeah <laughs> when did they decide that i'm pretty sure it but is I, for, I remember it and it's true yeah you know but like also you kind of frame it in comedy terms too that's why i could never do roasts because you know i would do roast jokes and and they people would be like wow <laughs> Where, where'd that come from yeah like, like Jesus, I got no man, we're having fun here <laughs> nope Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen. <laughs>